All right, getting started with the Stormworks Weekly Top 5, we have the BMW M2 Coupes G87 2023, and this is by Cayo Estrada. I don't know if that Cayo is right. It's C-A-I-O. Cayo? Cayo? I don't know, but uh, we're going to go with that. All right, so let's hop inside. I like the I like that the buttons are easy to get to on both sides. Yeah, that's, that's cool. All right, we got this nice little interface here. Very cool. Uh, we have a seat back there. Is that all we have here? Let's see. Steering, acceleration, turn lights, control is gear selector. Is this like a automatic? Don't know. Uh, space launch control? What's launch control mean? I don't know. Okay, well, let's turn on. Give it a try. Okay. Shift. Shift? Hmm. Okay, that's the brake. Brakes off. What is up with the shifter? Okay, I don't know what's up with my gear shifter. Control, shift, control, shift. Okay, but what's launch do? I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the shifter. Shift, 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 control, control. I must be doing something really stupid. Okay, what would be the clutch? Holding down the shift does not work. Oh. Oh, okay. I had to do the brake S backwards in order to change the gears. Okay, that makes sense. On an automatic, you do have to put your foot on the uh, brake to change the shifter. But I don't know. I wasn't expecting that for this. Okay, let's drive it. It's driving pretty well. Let's see if we can go around this corner. Oh, I missed the corner. Hold on. Okay, I'm still trying to turn here. We are not turning. Let's turn. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. Kind of sliding around a bit. Let's go on the outside view. and can see how bad I'm driving now. Okay. All right. Let's try to see if we can follow this road here. Now, what is launch control? I'm going to hit launch. Was that a brake? I don't know what launch control is. I feel like launch control is handbrake, maybe. Yeah, when I hit it, it does like a brake. Maybe the wording is just not correct, but I don't know. But okay. Anyways, this is it. We're uh, we're driving. It's a little bit slippery. It doesn't feel like it has. Well, I guess it does feel like it has the. Uh, Steering controller, I would be spinning out by now. Uh, not, not quite as smooth as Carnivore's. Carnivore has some really good steering on his cars. Like, you can go and just go down a road and stay on the road because the steering is so, I don't know, tuned, I guess. So, there we go. Hey, look, railroad. Oh, okay. So, this was a BMW M2 Coupe G87 by Cayo Estrada. Horse. Or Chow? Or Chow? I don't know. But it's by him. You can download it in the description below. All right, coming at number four, way over yonder, is the MS Gotland, and this is by Deer 180. So let's get to it. All right, so I have jumped to the front of the ship. Uh, we're just gonna check it out from the side. Looks like we've got some empty space. Uh, in this case, it might be better just to, unless it's a work in progress, just to lock this up and flood it. You know, get that. Uh, Get that FPS going. Okay, got some stairs here. What is this? Okay, yeah, another room. Just flood it. Like, don't even bother with letting people inside. Just call it locked and flood it. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go down. Let's go through the door that we see. Ooh, again, open room. Oh, it does say it's a work in progress. Maybe that's why he's not flooding it. Okay, okay. I guess we'll just turn on. Maybe there's not much to see in this boat. Oh, there's not much at all to see. Okay, so let's just look at it then. This is the body, a heavy work in progress, and let's see if we can go to the back and check out if anything is functional in the back part, in the back, back, back part, and the even backer back, 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 back part. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be the car part, I assume, and we've got this door. That goes up. That goes down. Down, 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 down. There you go, okay. And this goes down. Those are the walkways for the people, I guess. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right, now, how does this go down? Or does this not go down? Oh, this does not go down. There's stuff down there. Wait, what? What is this? What is this area? Oh, they drive up. Okay. Wait, no, they walk up. Wait, is this for cars? I guess this is for like, 
one set of cars to go up to. And then this is for another set of cars. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, we're just going to pan by the side here and you can check out and know that it is a work in progress. So I assume it's going to be updated in the near future and then you'll be able to use it for your cars. But uh, there you go. The MS Scotland by Deer 180. Let's get to number three. All right, coming at number three is the PFA 50 loading platform. And this is by Suspicious Cat. So this is kind of neat. I don't have an airplane here. But this is a platform for apparently loading probably boxes and cars onto. Then you get in this little guy here and turn it on. Electric power, I'm guessing, because it is silent. And so we go and we find our plane. I'm not too sure. How would we get the car on this bad boy? Is there a ramp that comes out? Okay, let's see. Two. Okay, that's up. Three is down, four is mags, one is reverse, so that backs us up. Space is parking brake. But how will we actually pull the car up on this bad boy? Are there buttons that I don't know about? No, not that I see. Hmm, let's read the directions. It just says loading vehicle craft and don't upload. NATO collection. That's it. I guess he does have a few more uh, vehicles that are related to this, but I'm just not sure how you would get your truck up there. And the only picture it shows is like, there's a, you know, the back of a plane right here. And he's just, um, he's lifting it up. He's lifting the stuff up and it's tall enough to let the uh, stuff be pushed into the plane. There is no other part or another vehicle to like get the load up on this deck. So I'm not sure if he's going to build that part or if I'm missing something, but yeah, seems like there should be something to get the stuff up on here. Maybe a crane or some kind of ramp that attaches. Is there like a hidden ramp? No, I don't see a hidden ramp. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is a very strange top five today. So anyways, this is the PFA-50 Heavy Aircraft Loader, and it's by Suspicious Cat. Let's get to number two. All right, coming at number two today is the RNLI Tamar Lifeboat by Custom. And I feel like Custom, does Custom build a lot of boats? I can't remember. There's so many builders that are great, but I know the name. But uh, yeah, so we've got our in and out. Kind of reminds me of, didn't White Noise build something like this? There was like this really like long month where it was like lifeboats were being built like crazy. So that was a couple years ago, I think. But so this is a new lifeboat. Nice to see. Got an emergency escape hatch, but I'm gonna go in it. And, oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have gone in it. My head is stuck now. Uh-oh, that's why it's an emergency escape hatch, not an emergency get in the ship hatch. Okay, I jumped through it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, did I just flood the water in here? I feel like it did. Yeah, there's definitely water in there. What is that? And like, how do I, how do I like use it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to use this room. There's water in there. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, let's look at the detail. I like the seating. Got a little, like, was that like a rescue thing on my bob? And then we have this, wait, is that water in this room too? There is water in, what are these rooms? Warning, high voltage. Oh, okay, that's lights. I don't exactly know what these rooms are. They're not labeled? Anything? Okay. Oh, that looks cool. I like all the detail. All right, let's go back upstairs. I shouldn't go in those rooms, I don't think. Okay. Oh, wow. This looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice in here. Got seats back here. Maybe you have to turn on the stuff first. Let's read the directions. Okay. I think you go into the engineer's seat, he says. Mechanic. Okay. Go into the mechanic seat. On the panel to your left, turn the main, okay, main power on. And ignition, ignition. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. So we have engine, closed circuit TV, radar. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. And on and off button. That's neat. And depth and fuel, which I already went to, I think, on accident. And nav. All right, let's leave it on engine for right now. Let's get out of here. Okay, did this guy's come on? Oh, his came on. What's your job? I guess your navigator, right? Is that what your job is? 
Navigator 2. Okay. Oh, look at that. It lit up. All the power's on. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, this guy has a radar system. Navigator. And what's this guy? Hawkswain. Hawkswain? Is that like like a like a what's that thing called? Like a bozeman? Or is that the right name? I don't know what the right name is. I guess helmsman. Or we'll just go with the helm. Alright, let's go ahead and give it some W. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's, let's not do the W. Hop in either the coxswain or the helmsman seat, fly bridge, and press spacebar to take control. Okay. Okay. Yeah, kind of want the coxswain. That's kind of a cool seat. Okay, space. Alright, I hit space. And I hit W. And we're moving. Just like that. I like this. There we go. Got some cool, like, little ports on the back. There's the engines. There's the bottom. Yeah, it's a cool little boat. Let turn. Yeah, no flipping. All right, and we've got the radar on top. Yeah, this is just a cool looking little boat. Or lifeboat, I should say. All right, so there you go. Number two, this was the RNLI Tamar lifeboat. And I think we just got into range of, oh, look. There's that boat. <laughs> Still going. Yeah, so anyways, this was the RNLI Tamar lifeboat. And uh, yeah, we can almost catch up to that boat. But we're not because we got to get to number one. So let's get to number one. All right, coming at number one today is the MV Condor Motor Barge. And who do you think this is by? Do you think it's by FJ Warner and E-Train? Do you? Well, you would be wrong. This is by Joff Reddy. And uh, we're going to get it moving. And then I'm going to be touring it. So, let's see. Engine starter. Nav lights. Throttle up. Is it all the way throttled up? I don't know how much I throttled. What's that? Reverse. Clutch up. There we go. Look at that. I didn't have to go to an engine room or anything. All right. There we go. So, let's see. we got a heater. How do we get down from this bridge? Ah, back here. Okay. Let's check out the back. The back looks lovely. Got a door here. It goes down into the engine room, I assume. Yeah. That looks nice. Then we got, oh, wow, look at this open space. That's pretty cool. That's kind of a cool cargo area. Okay. Then we've got this front area here, which has, I don't know, little bedrooms. There's light, 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 light switches. Yes. There you go. Nice. A lot of stuff packed in a small area. Always very cool. What's that pump for? I don't know what that's for. Just to get this water out of here. Okay, let's go up. Got a nice little seating area here. Lights, of course. And then we're on the deck here, and we can go to the front. And it's all laid out here. We've got the crane steering wheel, I'm assuming. Okay, how does this work? How does this work? Let's see. 80. No. I have to unlock it or something? Oh, there goes up. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. That goes up. How do I go sideways, though? It's like it's tied down. It's supposed to be not tied down? I don't know. I am not educated enough to run a cargo ship. We're going to pretend like... Oh, look! It went sideways. Back and forth. Okay. Got it to work. Woo. Okay. That was easy. All right. I think that's the final part of this ship, really, right? Or is, have I been down here? No, I haven't been down here. This is... Okay, it goes back down the engine room, I assume. This is a nice little cabin, I guess, for the captain, maybe? Is it labeled? Captain, yep. There's outside. Around this way? Is a toilet. Okay. I can't wait for them to release the toilet DLC. That is going to be awesome. But anyways, there we go. Let's go ahead and check it out at night. And it looks like we're going to catch up to that ship. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out at night. All right, and here it is. You can see the flags in the dark and all the nice lighting. Looks really good. You can see that from miles away, I'm sure. So a nice little build. So now it's time to get to the extra five. Coming in number five on the extra five is the Kalstrom's Decoration Pack. I assume it's probably used in this ship, and you can download it in the description below. It looks like a lot of nicely in-game built parts. These are not mods, so you can freely use these on your ships and your builds. 
without any issue. So check them out. Coming in number four on the extra five is the C-17 Globemaster Transport Aircraft, which looks like a monster of a plane. And this is also by Suspicious Cat, which means it probably works with that platform that we were looking at earlier. So you might want to download both of these and give them a try. Coming in number three is a Pump Jack Echo Petro Green Solutions by Admiral Sketch. And it is a very cool, I guess, uh, oil refinery of some sort. Uh, it looks like it has lots of tanks. And it says that it has pumping speed of 360 liters per second. It can hold a maximum of 40, oh, no, not 40, 424,000 uh, liters. And uh, yeah, you can download this and use it for all your oil pumping needs. Coming in at number two is the C-17 Dropback, again by Suspicious Cat, which probably works with the plane and works with the platform. So there you go. Download all three and have fun. Finally, coming number one is the Inland Oil Rig Echo Petro Green Solutions, again by Admiral Sketch. I guess this is the second part of the first part, or is this completely different? I cannot tell, but it says it does require the other part. So maybe this is the oil rig part and the other part is like the storage refinery pumping part. I'm not sure. You should download both of them and give them a try and let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for the weekly top five for Stormworks. If you enjoyed these videos, go ahead and hit the like button. Helps the channel and leave comments and let me know what you think about these builds. And don't forget to go download the builds and leave comments on the builders workshops. Always nice to hear from you guys. Apparently we can't catch up that boat. We get it to load for a few seconds and then it disappears. All right. Anyways, that's it for today. I will see you next time.